Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Greetings, friends. Cheech here from Fly Fish Food. And I'm back at the Vice. Um, I've been uh, filling up a, a blue-winged olive box, a Betis box for next spring just because I lost my Mayfly box, but it's spurred a little bit of creativity and uh, I guess I'll share. One of the most popular cripple patterns in, in our box is the Fripple from Curtis. And if you haven't checked that fly out, you need to because it's super, super effective. But just like any of Curtis's flies, I've got to tie something that will try to fish along with it or outfish it. And so this is my submission to the uh, cripple world. Um, it, it uses a fairly unique body style. Um, it's just thread body. It kind of looks like a quill. It's kind of a cool little technique. And a uh, pretty simple tie actually. Uh, this is the fulling mill um, dry fly hook. It's barbless. Pretty awesome. And uh, one of the keys to this pattern is using the UTC 70 thread because it really lays down smoothly. And you need a smooth thread for this. So before I get started, I'm going to kind of stroke the thread a little bit to flatten it out a little bit. And uh, just get that started so it lays down really flat on the, on the hook. Um, so this pattern... Uh, well, I guess any cripple pattern kind of represents uh, a fully hatched mayfly. It's an adult mayfly. And with Blue Winged Olives, one time on the river, Curtis and I were sitting there watching them hatch. And a lot of them would crawl out of their nymphal shuck, and then they would just die. They're not in the shuck at all, so they're not emergers. They're fully emerged, and they die. And what happens is when they die, the, the blood camp pump to their wings and their their wing, their tails can't stiffen up so they can never fly away and the fish really key in on those really crumpled up wings and tails and everything so the way Curtis achieves that is he use medallion sheeting and he singe the edges and it's a really cool pattern and I'm just going to use yarn to simulate those bunched up wings um, but for the tail instead of using like micro fibbits or anything like that I'm just gonna take some of this uh, uh, Enrico Puglisi uh, trigger point international fibers they are treated with a floatant and I'm just gonna take like five or six of those fibers and just tie those in right here at the back of the hook and then just wrap those all the way up like that now because this is a, an adult mayfly I'm gonna tie the tails a little bit longer. I mean, imagine these tails are supposed to be spread out in a V shape, just like a, a normal mayfly. Uh, so I'm going to tie those tails in about that long. So there we go. So that's our tail. Now we're going to build up the body, and it's critical that we have flat thread for this. So I'm going to spin my bobbin counterclockwise, and you can see how flat that thread got. And I'm going to build up a little bit of a taper. So I'm going to wrap almost all the way to the back and then back up. And now I'm going to untwist my thread again. And I'm going to wrap this all the way to the back with pretty loose turns. So you can see I have a pretty decent taper built up here. Now to create the rib on this mayfly, um, I'm going to just use a brown marker. This is the Delta Brown from Chart Pack. And I'm going to color down about an inch and a half to two inches. And then I'm just going to take that and wrap. That got a little bit too wide, so I'm going to twist that up a little bit. And I'm going to wrap that forward. Now I'm getting a little bit too thin, so I'm going to unwind it. and just wrap that forward. So that's our, our body for the, the betas. It kind of looks like a biot or a quill or something like that, but super, super simple. And you don't have to use dark brown. You can use black, you can use gray, you can do use whatever color you want for that. So for the wings on this, um, I'm gonna use more of the EP Trigger Point International fibers. 
uh, but I'm going to kind of have a little bit of a, a wing case, not because the adult mayfly has a wing case, but because I want to add a little bit of buoyancy to it. So what I'm going to do is I've taken two pieces of CDC and I've just aligned the tips. And I'm going to take those tips and just trim those and tie those in right here by the tips. So we've got those tied in. And then for the, the wings on this, I've got about that much EP Trigger Point International Fiber, and I'm just going to figure eight those in. When you figure eight those in, you kind of want to use loose wraps at first until you get them seated. So I, I kind of did that fast. The easiest way to do that is to do like two loose wraps, then take this end and pull it toward you. And then wrap crisscross applesauce. And then you figure eight through them a little bit with a little bit more snug wraps, and then you've got a nicely tied in wing. You see that that doesn't add hardly any bulk. Now I'm going to take some brown olive super fine dub from Hair's Ear, just enough to dirty the thread. So that's that's all the dubbing we, we have on the thread. And I'm going to figure eight in between those wings. And I like to not trim the wings until I've wrapped the dubbing through the middle of it because it makes it easier to grab onto the wings and pull them out of the way. Okay. So I'm going to end up with my thread right here in the front of the fly. You can see that's kind of a, a little bit of a bulky thorax. That's totally fine. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull that CDC over and tie that in right behind the eye and then lift it up. And that's where I'm going to put my whip finish. Just a minimal whip finish and then I touch it up with a little bit of cement just to keep the bulk down. So once I have that tied in, I'm just going to trim that CDC, sorry I'll get my fingers out of the way, so that there's just a little nub of it coming over the, the front of the eye. And then the, the wings, um, I'll pull those down and I'll trim them right where the body ends and then just kind of fluff them out and smash them up a little bit. So this isn't a spinner pattern, it's a it's a cripple. But as you can see that just kind of lays flat in the water, has a nice slim profile, and that's the profile those fish are looking for. And the cool thing about this Trigger Point International fiber is it is treated with a floatant so it, it, it's natural or it, it's buoyant. And then it has, they, they've blended up a bunch of different colors. This is the dark dun color. So they've blended up a bunch of colors so it's not just all one color. It kind of looks like a mottled wing with a little bit of veins going through it. But anyway, this is the mill spec cripple. And it's much better than the stupid fripple pattern.